Hi, welcome to Lori Farm. Today I'm just going to kind of show you some of the wild vegetation that lives around here that's good for um, foraging. So the first one is wild chamomile, otherwise known as pineapple weed. It smells like chamomile with sweet pineapple undertones. It grows um, abundantly around here. It's got green, greenish yellow cones, that's, but no flowers. And you can you, you dry it out and you can use it for teas and it promotes relaxation and calmness. It's good for like a tea right before you go to bed. At least that's the only way we've used it. I'm sure it's got a million other you purposes eat also. Anything. You're not 100% sure of what it is because a lot of plants do have lookalike plants. So you want to make sure that you're actually picking and eating what you think you have. And also, only forage places you know either the owner of the property or parks that don't spray pesticides or any toxic chemicals on the plants because obviously you don't want to ingest any of that. Um, otherwise these are a really nice thing to make into teas and they grow abundantly in Minnesota. They are most popular around spring and early to mid-summer. Another one we have here which we have a ton of is purslane. And this is in the succulent family, so it does look a lot like a succulent. It's very high in omega-3s and vitamin A, C, and E. It actually has a lot of nutritional value, value like an avocado. Um, these one I like because they're easy to identify. Um, we have a ton of them. A lot of people use them for like a cover crop because they're also really good for the soil. And these ones are super easy to prepare. You can just rinse them off and eat them. You can throw them in with a salad. You can make soups out of them. You can really eat them in any way you want, raw or cooked. We have, which my children think is the funniest. So this is called Cowboy's Toilet Paper because it's super soft and really fluffy. Um, it's got like the oval shape and in the center it will grow a tall flower but these ones you can use for wiping, thus the name, if you're out in the woods and don't have anything. Otherwise, it's also really good if you have minor cuts or abrasions, you can um, kind of crunch it up and make poultice and it will help clot blood for minor ones, obviously huge ones, go see a doctor. Um, it also has properties in it which can help with inflammation and pain relief. So it's really good for like field dressings if you get injured out in the woods. But yeah, they're really cool because they're super soft. And these ones I find really easy to identify too just because it's pretty rare you see a, a leaf that's fluffy like that. So another one we have a lot of and common is broadleaf plantain. The leaves are like egg shaped. Um, you can use these for insect bites, you can smash this up, put it on like really any insect bite. Like a mosquito or horsefly and it'll help take the stinging out. It's also good for inflammation. Um, you can eat the leaves raw. High in calcium and beta carotene. So a poultice is basically you're turning it into a paste to make it easy to apply to a wound or to use as a dressing. Um, so plantains are commonly seen as weeds. A lot of people just spray weed killer and kill them. But honestly, most weeds are very useful if you actually look up what they are. Another very common one is red clover. You can dry it out and make it into teas. Um, it has anti-cancer properties. It's good for inflammation. It's also a natural diuretic. Uh, so if you have, if you are on any medications or anything, you should always consult your healthcare practitioner before eating anything wild because it can interact with different um, drugs. But red clover has shown um, a lot of promise in prostate cancer, specifically because it is estrogen-like. It's so basically what you do is you dry it out and you can make it into a tea. The flower and the leaves are edible. Um, it grows abundantly in Minnesota. You've probably seen it a thousand times and never even thought anything of it. It's one of my favorite things because it's easy to identify. It's also part of the legume family, which is kind of interesting. Uh, red clover can be made into pill form or tinctures or also liquid form. 
and it can be used for whooping cough and other respiratory issues. If you liked the content and you're interested in more, there is plenty of more for foraging in Minnesota. So like and subscribe or make a comment and I can always make more videos of other foraging items we have. We have a ton of them. So thanks for watching.